Hi everyone, my name's Tom McKinney. I'm the curator of new music at Kettle's Yard. And this is the second profile of the artists who were sadly unable to perform for us as part of the Spring 2020 New Music series. Just a couple of weeks after lockdown came into effect, we were due a visit from the soprano Juliet Fraser, who had programmed a concert in which she was going to perform her latest solo album in full. Um, the album, which was also launched around then, featured four pretty substantial pieces that were written for her over the last couple of years, and one of which, by C. Van Eldor, was commissioned by us at Kettle's Yard. Now, probably the most important factor in what made me ask all of the performers to come to Kettle's Yard was what I knew would be their ability to capitalise on the unique qualities of the space as a music venue. So to be able to take Kettle's Yard's idiosyncrasies and use them in their favour, because I think you take it for granted that all of the musicians who visit Kettle's Yard should be technically exceptional and they should programme only the very best repertoire. But what's even more important, or perhaps equally important to those things, is how do those musicians interact with the audience? You know, how do they communicate with us? How do they carry us along with them into what can often be pretty unusual and baffling sound worlds? I mean, that's that's the truth at times. When you're investigating new music and things you've not heard before, it can be quite confusing and you need great communicators to take you along with them. And now Juliet Fraser, she performs with this amazingly captivating stillness. And when I thought about the artists coming to Kettle's Yard, I could visualise that close proximity, how the audience would only have been, you know, an arm's length away from Juliet as she performed. How she would have made us listen so intently to every sound she makes, taking you into a kind of enhanced consciousness almost. Because the accuracy of her pitch, I mean, the purity of her tone, it, it's incredible. The phrasing so natural, it's never contrived. And yet it all comes out of her mouth with such ease that I guess like all the greatest performers, you have no idea just how difficult the music often is that she's singing. You just hear music and you have no real awareness of the mechanics of how that's being produced. So yeah, explore the links on this web page. You can hear all of the music that Juliet had intended to perform for us. And there's also a video she's recorded, An Identity in Lockdown. It's a very personal monologue in which she looks at how this enforced isolation that, yeah, we've all experienced, um, how that's had the anticipated negative effect on her, along with some uh, unexpected positive ones, and how all of that, once life gets back to some type of normality, how all of that then might eventually impact on who Juliet Fraser is overall as an artist.